Today I'm taking a look at the Noise Windshield Sunshade. So this one's kind of interesting because it actually has two layers. So it's got a white on the outside and a black on the inside. Now the reason that's important is because white reflects light. So instead of the sun beating down on this and then heating it up, it's going to just push that light energy away. Whereas you got the black on the back, that'll provide a much better barrier so the sunlight cannot pass through and then heat up the interior of the vehicle. So this is the correct way to design a sunshade. I also like that they got this Velcro tether that is built into it. Normally with a sunshade, it's got this kind of pile like this and I just have to find a place that I can stuff it to contain it. So having this strap, is pretty welcome. I also like that they put a large piece of Velcro right here and then a small piece of Velcro right here. That way it doesn't matter how well I have this thing actually packed, I'm still going to be able to attach it. So if we open that up, so that is pretty large. I also really like that they made the button, so it's this nice big thing. It's very easy to grab onto. It's not something you have to worry about like pinching your fingers on like with some of these. So yeah, basically just like an umbrella, you don't have to worry about folding it or wrapping it or doing those weird like twist loop things. It's very simple. If you ever worked an umbrella, you can work this guy. So one very nice thing is it actually has kind of a spring on the end. So that way if somebody else is tasked with putting this in and they just kind of mash into position, you don't have to worry about that thing tearing up your trim. Really like that they did that. Even the arms on here are fairly flexible. So this is neat. It looks like this strap is the exact same strap that will tie up around your mirror. So again, I'll just Velcro on and you'll have that covered. And it also appears that this stem is also flexible. So if you have an odd shaped dash, you don't really have enough room for this. You can just kind of bend it right out of the way. So on the other side, that is what you will see if you are looking at it from the front windshield. It comes with this pouch, so if we want to pack it up and make it look nice and tidy, we can do that. Okay, so we can see on there, there is no light getting through that thing. I did put the mirror behind it just because it was easier for this particular model. But you can see on the thermal cam there is very little heat actually getting to the dash. And you can see on the top left this sunshade at the max is getting about 117 degrees. So that is absorbing all of the heat. Make sure the dash is staying nice and cool so it's not going to be cracking. This is in the middle of the day. I'm sitting in the truck. There's no air conditioning running and it's really not that hot in here. So far this is doing very well. So I'm going to take this down and I'm going to see what happens with that off. So it's been about an hour. It is noticeably warmer in this car right now. Like I kind of singed my hand on that armrest when I got in. But if we take a look at the thermals, yeah, look at that. The dash is now about 140 degrees. So that's gonna be how you get that cracking and everything drying out. It is considerably hotter in here. And that's just after one hour without that shade. So this guy's going back up and I'm going to keep it on here just to protect my car and also to make it a lot more comfortable in here. So yeah, this thing's pretty awesome.